This is the UPS 10 point commentary checklist for 2020. Number one, clearing intersections. Whether approaching, turning, going through, or starting up at an intersection, scan ahead. Look left, right, then back to the left. Scan your driving scene, getting the big picture, and look left, right, first looking for any pedestrians, bicycles, motorcycles, and vehicles to ensure they are obeying their traffic sign or signals, and looking for any obstructions that may block your visibility. Look left the second time because that's the first lane of traffic I'm going to enter. Prior to entering the intersection, I check my traffic side mirror, looking for traffic in the lane next to my vehicle that may turn in front of me. As I proceed through the intersection, I check my opposite traffic side mirror to ensure I cleared the intersection of any hazards. Why keeps you alive at intersections? Number two, when stopped in traffic. When stopped in traffic, I leave enough space between the front bumper of my vehicle and the rear bumper of the vehicle in front of me. If that vehicle stalls or becomes disabled, I can maneuver around the vehicle without having to back up in traffic. The space I leave in front of my vehicle is proportionate to the size of my vehicle. The longer my vehicle, the more space required. Why? Have an escape route. Number three, count one, two, three after the vehicle ahead has started to move before placing my vehicle in motion. This will automatically establish a space cushion and allow me to bring my eyes up to the driving scene ahead. Why? Keeps you away from billboards. Number four, four to six seconds following time for speeds 29 miles per hour and under six to eight seconds for speeds 30 miles per hour and over. To calculate following distance, when the vehicle ahead passes a stationary item, start counting 11001, 11002, 11003 until the front bumper of my vehicle reaches that item. This is my following distance in seconds and gives me time to act to any changes in traffic seen ahead. Why? Buys time. Number five, eight to 12 seconds of eye lead time is the depth of which my eyes should be most of the time while driving. To establish eye lead time while driving, I pick a stationary item in front of my vehicle and start counting 11001, 11002, 11003 until the front of my vehicle reaches that item. This is my eye lead time in seconds. Remember that it is a maintained depth of vision. Why? Centers car in traffic lane. Number six, scan steering wheels. Always scan steering wheels of parked cars to see if the vehicle is occupied. An occupied vehicle presents two hazards. The person may either exit the vehicle or pull away from the curb. Other ways to see if the vehicle is occupied is steering wheels turned out tail or brake lights on, and exhaust coming from tailpipe. If you can't determine if the vehicle is occupied, treat it as an occupied vehicle. A small tap or a loud blast of the horn if necessary, close enough to be heard, yet far enough away to take evasive action. Why? Take path of least resistance. Number seven, stale green lights. A stale green light is a light that I did not see changed, and I am not sure when it may turn yellow or red. A point of decision must be established between the front bumper of my vehicle and the stop line. If the light changes prior to my decision point, I will be able to bring the vehicle to a safe stop behind the stop line. If I reach my decision point and the light would change, I will continue through the intersection without hesitation or acceleration. 
Things that affect my point of decision are road, load, weather, and speed. Why? Smooth stops and turns. Number eight, eye contact. Always establish eye-to-eye -eye contact with other motorists, pedestrians, bicycles, and motorcycles to eliminate uncertainty. We use three tools to establish eye-to-eye -eye contact. Our horn, lights, and signals. Our horn is the primary tool. Usually a tap of the horn, sometimes a loud blast is necessary. Once I establish eye-to-eye -eye contact, I can expect the other person to act in a reasonable and predictable manner. Why? Establishes eye-to-eye -eye contact. Number nine, pulling from curb. When pulling from curb, I always indicate my intentions by turning on my traffic side turn signal. I check traffic by looking at my traffic side flat and convex mirrors. I look over my traffic side shoulder to check my blind spot between the fuel tank and drive axle in the lane I'm about to occupy. When the lane is clear, I can proceed with pulling from the curb. I do not deactivate my turn signal until all of my equipment is completely in the lane I am occupying. Why? Communicate with traffic, horn, lights, and signals. Number 10, use of mirrors and gauges. I check a mirror every five to eight seconds looking for lane position traffic conditions, and mechanical problems. I substitute a mirror check when traffic allows with one of my primary gauges, air, oil, or water, looking for normal readings. When I check a mirror or gauge, my next eye movement is back to the front. Never go mirror to mirror, mirror to gauge, gauge to mirror, or gauge to gauge. Why? Keeps your eyes ahead of car.